Well, not even a day or so later, here is week two of the 2019 DCFL season. As here's the standards when we left off last time in week one right now, as New York leads the, the um, Eastern Conference with Pittsburgh and Charlotte right behind New York, and then Jacksonville, Philadelphia, and Baltimore being last in the conference. And then in the Western Conference, Indianapolis leads the division with Oakland and Phoenix being right behind them. Seattle, LA, and Chicago looking in. And before I begin, I announced we actually did a vote on the playoff stands and we agreed on the expansion to six teams. So now it's going to be the division winner and two wildcard teams. So the three best teams in each conference. The, best, the second seed in one conference will host the third seed, the two wildcard teams, and whoever wins that will face the, the champion of that conference, and then whoever wins that will face the other conference's champion in the title game. So that's how it's going to be instead of four teams last year to, with one game going to the title game beforehand. So now let's get into week two. So we start off the schedule of this week with the Govins. LA Mean Green Machines visited my Baltimore Charm as both have suffered a loss the first week of the year as my Charm lost to the New York Gangsters. Meanwhile, the LA I Mean the Mean Green Machines lost at home to Oakland this time out. One of us is finally going to get our first win, so which one will it be? And Baltimore won it 49 nothing. Tying last week's Chicago and Indianapolis is probably the most lopsided game in PFA history. Wow! What a beatdown! What a shutout LA suffered as they only got 186 yards of offense to my almost 450. In fact, they were 0 and 13 on third down. They didn't convert third down one time in this game as they were completely and utterly shut down as my defense forced two sacks, an interception, and a fumble. So yeah, big return after that terrible loss against New York last year. What an awful loss for LA as they continue to still try and get their first win in their franchise. And then it's the L the lost the Min Indianapolis Rabbit Stallions, I mean to say, going up against the Charlotte Bobcats as both teams are undefeated. The two one of the two games that have undefeated teams going up against each other. As we saw Indianapolis last week destroy Chicago Fort 52 to 3. As they're on the road against the Charlotte Bobcats who had to pull off that incredible upset comeback victory against Jacksonville last week. Let's see what will happen here. Who will stay undefeated after this week? And Indianapolis would get it 48-30 in a high scoring game as Charlotte came to play. As you see in the second, I mean first half, but once the second half came around, they were shut down. They really couldn't get anything going offensively, although they got the yards, they just could not stop. Indianapolis's unstoppable offense who put up 520 yards and 48 points. Wow, what a game they put up. Even though they were shut down on third down for third to 10, it still didn't matter as they put up 48 points. Even allowing just 30 points, they still got the victory as they move on to undefeated as Charlotte suffers their first loss of the year. After that, it's the Chicago Staley's hosting the Jacksonville Scouts. As both teams have a loss, one of them is going to get their first win this season as Chicago was destroyed last week on the road by Indianapolis. Meanwhile, Jacksonville choked a 24-10 lead to let Ch um, Charlotte beat them on the road. That was very embarrassing, but one of these teams is going to get a victory, and who will it be? And it would be the Staley's in an upset 23-15 as Jacksonville put up over 300 yards of offense, which actually is kind of low for this team, Outbeaten Chicago's offense, but more importantly, they could not get anything when they got down to the red zone. Once they got down there, they were completely shut down by Chicago's stinging defense. Two of 16 on third down, and they only got four, I mean, five field goals for scores. No touchdowns whatsoever. Two, I mean, two, four sacks, two interceptions, two forced fumbles. And it still wasn't enough for them, as Chicago I mean, Chicago only got six sacks, but that was all that they needed for the victory, as Jacksonville once again imploded. Their offense choked, just like their defense last week choked when they needed the end, along with their offense choking. Man, they are indeed suffering a hangover from the championship so far, as Chicago is moving on after that in terrible loss. They're still 1-1. One and, one. and then after that, halfway through the week, as it's the New York Gangsters visiting the Seattle Tenyo, as New York got a win right now they are one of the two remaining teams 
in the Eastern Conference will win as they're trying to stay undefeated too after they beat my charm last time out. Seattle, on the other hand, lost their first game this year in a hard defensive effort against Phoenix as they're trying to get their first win too to get back to 500. As here we go with the results. And New York won it on the road 21 to 6 in a defensive struggle, believe it or not, as New York put up the 410 yards, but they only got 21 points out of it. But take a look at this. The Tenyo got only six points, as once again, their offense couldn't do anything. In fact, you're not going to believe this. In total yards, Seattle's offense got 99 yards. They didn't even get 100 yards. In fact, their kickoff punt returns got almost as much yards as their offense did. Holy shit. This is like the worst offense. Even worse than the LA right now. And Oakland. Not even 100 yards offense. Holy shit. What a complete implosion Seattle is right now. And nothing is going right for them to start the year. As New York, once again, like last year, off to a 2-0 start. Let's see if they can maintain it to continue on for the year. And then after that... It's another undefeated showdown as it's the Phoenix Devils visiting the Pittsburgh Power as this is the only other game remaining with one team going to be un winless still unless they tie as Phoenix last week beat Seattle on the at home in a defensive struggle. Meanwhile, Pittsburgh had to hold off and make a comeback against Philadelphia on the road in overtime last week. That was quite a scary performance for them. One of these two teams, offensive powerhouses, is going to be 2-0. Who will it be? And Pittsburgh would get the victory once again in overtime. Back-to-back -back weeks in overtime. As they had to make the comeback once again against um, Phoenix. As Port um, um, Pittsburgh, I mean to say, got over 425 yards of offense. Phoenix only got 256 yards, believe it or not. They made up for 23 points, however. So, Phoenix... Had a close game, but it just wasn't enough for them as Pittsburgh got by once again by an overtime victory. But if I was Pittsburgh, I would be a little bit worried. You shouldn't be winning games on by overtime. You should blow out teams like you used to do. And then the final game of the league is the Philadelphia Sox visiting the Oakland Pillagers. Philadelphia lost their first game last time out in overtime hosting Pittsburgh. Blew a big opportunity right there. Meanwhile, Oakland beat LA on the road in a defensive struggle. As looks like right now... These teams, one's offensive side, the other one's defensive side. Who will get the victory here? And it would be Philadelphia winning at 38-24 as they went up 17-0 to start the game. But then when Oakland cut the deficit to 7, Philadelphia was unstoppable offensive offensively. They would get the ball and march downfield with no effort to get the touchdowns. And every time Oakland scored, Philadelphia gets scored right back to maintain that two-possession lead for the rest of the game. As they're going to win 38-24 to get their first win in their franchise history as Oakland this now falls to one and one but with that week two is in the books as we now take a look at the conference stands right now as you can see New York still leads the Eastern Conference Pittsburgh now is the second seed as Charlotte fell down to the third seed the charm moved up to the fourth seed Philadelphia still is the sixth seed and the champion I mean the runner-ups last year Phil Jackson scouts dead last right now is the only team left without a win in the Eastern Conference meanwhile in the Western Conference Indianapolis continues to dominate, still leading the, the conference. Phoenix is now number two as they moved up a spot as Oakland fell down to the third seed. Chicago moved up to the fourth seed. Seattle still the fifth seed or sixth seed. I can't remember exactly which one it was off the top of my head. And the LA Mean Green Machines are last in the division at 0-2. We still got two undefeated teams, New York, Pittsburgh, and Indianapolis, and three winless teams, LA, Seattle, and Jacksonville. How long will they remain undefeated and winless? And now here's the schedule for week three. As it'll start off with my charm visiting the Jacksonville Scouts as they try to get their first win still. Then it'll be Jake's two teams, Charlotte at Pittsburgh. That'll be big since Pittsburgh's still trying to remain undefeated. And then another big one in the Eastern Conference says Philadelphia visits New York as New York is trying to get a two-game lead over everyone else in the Eastern Conference. And then in the Western Conference, it'll be the LA Mean Green Machines visiting the Indianapolis Rabid Stallions. And then it'll be the Seattle Tenyo visiting the Oakland Pillagers. And then the most interesting matchup of the Western Conference will be the Chicago Staleys visiting the Phoenix Devils. As one of them is going to go to 2-1 and one and, pot and very likely have the third seed at least in position for them. And we're now two weeks into the 2019 season. It's already off to an interesting start. 
Content can't wait to see what the storylines and the results for week three. So hopefully we'll get to that very soon. Tune in next time for week three of the 2019 DCFL season.